Hi, Manjo Armstrong. Welcome to the back office teardown lab. I have here a digital light switch with optional dusk start. Model ZV700B by TimeGuard. And it's the seven day version. Fantastic. It's so digital. Um, and apparently it's some sort of programmable light switch, um, but it's digital. So we'll see what that means. Yeah! The reason I got it is that I thought it'd be quite nice to have... Um, I've got certain lights that come on when it's dark, and I've got certain lights in my house that are dumb. They're outside lights, like the garden lights, and they don't come on when it's dark, and they don't go off when it's bright, and they don't do anything clever. But they all rooted to a standard light switch somewhere in the house, among its ancient infrastructure. So these might be a good way of upgrading this. So if you've got that old wiring, this could work for you. So let's have a look at the different things you have here. Six different time periods. Five day plus two day or seven day programming with an easy to view with blue illuminated screen. Mode buttons. Optional dusk start, turning the lights on at dusk and off at a selected time. Random mode. Automatic summer winter changeover. Suitable for two way switching. So this is the interesting bit here. Controls 40 to 400 watts of filament, 18 to 76 watts of fluorescent, and 20 to 200 watts of low voltage lighting. So this is compatible with um, the fluorescent tubes, which is always useful because sometimes those, you know, do burn out apparently, these sorts of things. Make sure you look at the rating if you're using compact fluorescents. FLA01 light strip adapter may be required in certain installations. Strip light adapter, not sure what that is. Might have to Google that. Fits a standard British flush or surface box and it's the usual sort of stuff. Not suitable for LED or discharge lighting. Didn't say LED, you're right. So that's probably what that FLA01 is if you're using LEDs. Discharge those like those big Xenon things. I don't think you'll have a problem with those at home. Instruction manual. It's very basic stuff. It's probably just how to program it, and that is going to be where the value is there. We're not going to install it on the teardown lab. I'm just going to go through and see what you get. But looking at the back, you've got a two-way switch. You've got an L2, L1 for load, and a common for live. So that's really simple. That should fit into most British lighting circuits right away. I can hear in my hand it's sort of clicking, because you can obviously press on and off, I think. I suspect when you do one of these LEDs comes on to show you that the lights outside are on, which is quite nice. But then that opens up, look, it flips up nicely. And I'm just looking to see how does that work. When you're doing that, it's actually hitting the advance button, so it's just advancing the program. So you've got a nice fuse in there. I'm just going to try to pop the lid. Pretty stiff, so there's just definitely a fuse in there. In fact, I'll probably be installing it later. Ought to really have a check. That's really firm. I think there's a fuse in there ready, and you can see they give you a spare in the bag. So it's that little white glass fuse. Time Guard ZF700B. So automatic, random, photo cell, and manual mode. So I'm guessing when you push mode, you'll get a letter on the screen. And that's really it. It's quite simple. So that'll just live on your wall like that. You program it all up, and then when you're done, you shut the lid. It's quite a nice area here. You've got the opportunity of sticking something here. You might put a nice vinyl. Uh, sticker, maybe uh, a Christmas tree if it's uh, that season. So yeah, pretty good. I'll, um, I'm going to go and install this and if I have a problem with it, I'm going to let you know. So uh, let's go do that. And I'm back. Yep, yeah, it installed pretty easily. Seems to work fine. What I would recommend though, just keep hold of these instructions. So it's quite nice. My installation was quite simple, but it does have diagrams showing you all the different ways they can be installed, because it can work with a sort of two-way system, which is nice. Um, and although they're pretty easy to understand, again, self-explanatory, just keep a, a copy of these programming instructions, because you'll never, you know, you'll always sort of forget how you did it. And then, you know, a year from now, when you go to want to set it up seasonally or something, you'll forget. So bear in mind, you'll want to keep hold of these. But yeah, I think it works really well. I, you know, I can't tell 
how well it's going to work. It's only been installed and it's come on and off when the timer said it come on and off. It just does does that what it says on the box. But it cost about I think twenty six pounds. If it works and just continues to work for the next sort of five ten years, then I'm happy and that's that nice and simple. Hope that's been of some use to you. Please click like and subscribe if you're that way you know inclined um, yeah and if you've got any other options for these please comment down below i know there are like more sophisticated wi-fi nestable ones they're great but we're not worrying about those right now um, i did speak to someone actually just before i sign off i did speak to somebody about these sort of wi-fi modules you can get and potentially i might be able to jam one in one of these so that would be interesting where you have a mains project based on one of these but we try to augment it and make it a bit more internet of things so yeah, comment on that if you have an opinion. As ever, thank you for watching.